Hi, this is Gail Tarleton, representative from the 36th District in North Seattle. Really pleased to be here with you this afternoon. It's the final week of session, and we've been voting bills off the floor, and wanted to just fill you in on what's ahead for the rest of this week and during the summer. First of all, I just wanted to say how thrilled I am that we were just able to be with the governor as he signed into law my first bill called the Safe Keys Bill. House Bill 1647 will protect the keys of people who live in apartments and make sure that they are safe. This story for this piece of legislation was inspired by Dana. Dana Woodrig here with me today and her lawyer, Christy McClellan. Dana suffered a terrible attack in her apartment because a maintenance worker was able to get access to the keys to her apartment. This was an unauthorized access and this bill makes sure that people everywhere can sleep safe at night in their own homes because their keys will be secured. I want to thank Dana for your courage and for your commitment to changing the law to make all of the people in our communities and in our homes safe. It's been all about education this session and we have worked hard to fund K-12 programs to meet our paramount duty for constitutionally supporting all of the children in Washington State. And we've tried to fund higher education as well. Our work is not done, but we have made progress this session. First of all, we put $1.9 billion in the House budget for advancing reforms in the kindergarten through 12 programs. And we also added all kinds of opportunities for higher education in computer science and engineering programs at our research and regional colleges. We also added STEM programs and aerospace training and workforce development funding for our community and technical colleges. We expanded enrollment in the admissions available at all of our universities in order to make sure that we're building a workforce for the 21st century. But I am not satisfied. We have just not done enough to make education and for all of our citizens affordable and accessible for lifelong learning. And so I'll be working on that this interim. I'd love to hear from you. I'll be working on financial aid programs and for institutional support so that we make access to higher ed part of the American dream for all of our middle class. But speaking of the interim, I'm really excited about an opportunity that I've had. I've been nominated to participate in the Legislative Energy Horizons Institute. This is for Northwest legislators to help them understand what we can do to build clean energy solutions for all of our communities in transportation and in the environmental programs and in sustainable development of our urban communities. I look forward to learning with the other legislators what we can do to support our state and this is the reason I ran for office. I wanted to work on clean energy solutions and a clean economy where sustainable jobs for all of us are going to be available. So it will be a full summer and I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all of you who came from the district to talk with me this session, to tell me about what's happening, to let me know what's important. I really appreciate all of the letters and emails that you told me what we needed to do to make our communities ready to prepare us all for the challenges ahead. I look forward to talking to you over the summer and to working into the next session uh, to make all of us have a chance for a, a more decent, better quality of life. And I look forward to hearing from all of you. Thanks so much.